workshop. We're going to start off today with attaching the top part of the windshield back on. Uh, we've cut a few millimeters out of that to uh, chop the top. It's not going to be very dramatic, but it's going to be just enough to, to give it a unique look. Um, what we're going to try to do is get these two sides uh, sanded and filed down flat in the, the right angle and then um, glue them back together and see what we can do for strengthening up the joint so I might have to run some up the, the inside just to kind of uh, add a little bit of strength since we've cut it apart but so let's get to that Okay, so we got the uh, the window uh, parts sanded down. I have one side glued up, and that takes about maybe like two hours for it to fully cure. You'll notice that um, due to the chop, it's dropping straight down. That these don't necessarily line up. So I want to get this uh, nice and cured, and then I'll be able to apply a little bit of heat and on both sides and bend these in, and then glue this other side up, and that'll give me my new uh, windshield. But I think the overall uh, angle and, and the look of it is going to be going to be just fine. Going to have just a just a slight bend right in here and right in here. So we'll let that dry, and then we'll get to the side posts. And if you remember, these are the ones that go um, right here, and so they're the where the door rides up into and these will be attached to the top but the inside and these are also were part of the top so they um these are clear the clear plastic again so it's going to be a little bit difficult to to glue but i don't like how open this is so my idea is to glue some styrene onto here uh, and then trim this up and then I can take and put um, super glue in both sides and kind of just fill that gap in. I might I might shove a piece of styrene in there so it's not just so much super glue. Um, and just but just glue that in, and that'll give like a nice a nice finished edge on the inside instead of this um, this look right here, which is not the greatest. So, so with that, we'll get started.
Okay, so we were able to get the inside of these, uh, I guess it'd be B pillars, uh, skinned in some styrene, uh, filled the the edges in where it wasn't quite perfectly put together with uh, super glue, uh, sanded that back, and once that's painted, that will be um, it'll be look just like one solid piece, look really good. Uh, still need to cut the top down to match with whatever height ends up being for making the top. Um, but um, but we can we'll have to do that once we, we start making the top. We're gonna have to get to work on the rear now, and with that's gonna require to take this rounded edge and to bring that back a bit. The if you take the center of this uh, tailgate piece, right about halfway in, in and there, there's a ridge um, that runs. Where it kind of protrudes out, so it kind of comes up from the bottom, hits the ridge, and comes back. What happens is that from the top of here, then gets extended up to this new height. And so instead of your tailgate being this height, it now becomes this. So this will all be filled back in with, with styrene. Um, and then molded with that ridge. Uh, that allow us to have the, um, the tail lights, which we're going to use a... Probably gonna have to cut this down a bit, but use something similar to this, which is very uh, reminiscent of what they did on the um, on the actual concept.